position just playing your final home game? Um, I feel good. I don't. I don't really have you know many emotions. Um, we still haven't accomplished the goal we set out. You know, from game one. So, the um, emotions they're they're being held right now. But I'll, I'll really be emotional when we win it. Talk about going into next week. Now. Y'all got a chance to do what you want to do. Well, we're not going to put you know too much emphasis on it. You know, I think everybody you know knows pretty much what's at stake. So we're not going to you know over bash it or anything. We're going to approach it you know like a regular game week. And um, just make sure, as a, you know, seniors and as leaders and stuff, we're gonna make sure that everybody's focused and that everybody's uh, approaching the game, you know, the right way. How does a performance like this <clears throat> carry you guys into now that conference championship game next week? I think it carries us over pretty good. I mean, we've been playing, um, we've been playing our best ball over the last few weeks. And um, in my eyes, we're only getting better. You know, we're progressing towards the end of the season, which I think is really good. So I feel like you know, next week we can come out and put on an even better performance. Seems like the different parts in the season really picking up. At this point, going to Arkansas State, how comfortable do y'all feel offensively to just score, you know, really at will or when you really need to? We feel very comfortable. Um, we have we're very talented um, on offense. You know, from really at every position. You know, from quarterback to you know center. So um, on every on any given night, man, we can come out and be clicking, and we can put up a form, performance like we did tonight. And you know, some nights, you know, we start off slow, and you know, it'll be on those older guys to kind of get things kicked off, you know, a little faster, and that way we won't have to come from behind. Which point did you know that the, uh, the screens were gonna be that effective tonight? I mean, we uh, we worked it. Our scout team gave us a great look all week, and I knew, you know, the first time we called it, it was gonna hit. For big. It was gonna hit big. You know, I wish I would have scored on it, but uh, I knew it was gonna hit big. It's great, man. Um, like I said, I came in uh, with John. You know, we've been playing alongside each other for, you know, four years now. And Clark, you know, he came in the year before I did, but, you know, he feels – it feels like I came in with him too. You know, we're just all a family. And it's good to see everybody you put in the work with every single day. It's good to see it pan off, you know, for everybody. Coach talks about you being a leader. How do you try to show that? I just try to lead um, by really – Really, by lead by example. I try to go out and if if guys see you working hard and guys see you you're doing the right thing, then when you say something or when you do something, they'll be more willing to follow rather than you know I'm going out and not doing the right thing and trying to tell them to do something different. You know, it's a lot easier for guys to follow me in that you know in that way. You were in on the touchdown run, <clears throat> Parker. Correct. correct. Uh, how would you grade that? I was nice. I'm a uh, if they got a video of it, I'm a see can we get that on Sports Center. I liked it. Nice little flip. What about Caleb, it's general passing, throwing, all that stuff. Oh man, he's he's nice. <clears throat> like I said, we're we're very talented at, you know, really every position on offense. Um, he can come in right behind Brandon, and you know the offense really wouldn't miss a beat. Um, he played a lot. Uh, he got a lot of reps when Brandon was out with um, I think it was a pinky injury, and so he took most of the first first team snaps. And man, he came in and he balled out. And we're very confident in Caleb. You know, anytime. He's on the field. We feel confident that we won't lose a beat. In the spring. Spring. Can we serve in spring? Right. Oh yeah, we got after him, uh, especially in like first first uh, first part of the game. I felt like we did good in, uh, on first downs and getting off the field on third down and stuff. I thought we came through pretty clutch on that. All these tackles for loss. Hey, I just, I guess they just kind of fall into it. Everybody else does their job, and you do what you're supposed to do. It falls in falls in your hands. Yeah, well, I feel like uh, from a physical standpoint, I've I've grown a lot. Uh, I'm a lot stronger and faster. I can keep I keep my feet better than I used to. Um, I, I, and a big thing to me, I think, is uh, I'm more comfortable within the, the scheme, and I can make plays without thinking too much. And so that's I think that's helped me out a lot. How would you rate the backups? Uh, at, at, you know, since they got to play like yeah. half quarters, basically. I think they did pretty good. Uh, they don't, we only gave up what nine points? I think nine points. Yeah, uh, they I think. Uh, we got down in the red zone. I can't really remember. I think they scored once, and when we got they got down in the red zone. But other than that, they held them to a field goal one time and and did a pretty decent job. I thought. How was Vic rate the performance? Uh, <laughs> can't ever tell with, with with that. He uh 
he's such he's a good coach. He's gonna critique it, and he, he's gonna make us better in every little aspect. So that's what that's what he does. What was really just working for you guys out there? I don't know. I think it's just how we play. Honestly, uh, you can draw the best game you want, but if you don't go out there and play, you know, hungry and and get after him, then it's just not gonna work out. And I think we come out there with a good attitude every game and and try to put it on. I mean, the biggest obviously is that we want a ring, and how they whooped us so bad last year. We want some revenge on that, you know. So we're gonna we're, we'll be motivated and ready to go. So defensively, what's it gonna take on the road next week to get you, you know, to get the job done? I th I think if we come out like we did today, it'll we'll have a good chance of being successful. If we come out and stop them on first down, create some negative plays and and turnovers like we did today, and play good red zone defense and be gap sound, just do our responsibility, I think we have a good chance. Were you No, you didn't. I almost, almost, <laughs> almost that first play, the first play, almost. Kind of tripped up on me. I was like, yeah, he, he jinxed me. I thought he was about to pick it. I was like, yep, he jinxed me for real. Yeah, we got a good offense. You know, we haven't showed that all, you know, all year. You know, I haven't really showed like we did tonight. So, you know, but we have some good, really good players and some really good backups too, as you can see in the second half, like you just said. So, you know, that's 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 supposed to happen. Maybe not 62 points every game, but like that's supposed to be our type of offense every game. We just haven't, you know, clicked as much as we did tonight, like we have all year. So, um, you know, we just got we got good players. Did you know that the screen game would be as effective as it was? Today? Yeah, I thought so. Uh, they were playing soft. You know, probably. Try to give um, you know, load the box for Jordan and Josh and all our hefty backs, like we used to call them. We love to call them hefty backs. So um, someone actually gave them a nickname. I'm not gonna tell who, but um, that's their that's their nickname. But um, it's been it's been good. Um, you know, they they blocked really well and they ran really well out to the catch. Did you expect this kind of performance from you your final game of the bet? I always, I always expect to play good and I always like to back that up. So you know, four touchdowns. I've you know. I've done it before. I haven't done it this year, but I um, mean, it was good to go out there and you know sling around. Yeah, um, you know, what five yards short? I was twenty yards short earlier tonight. So, uh, but you know, it happens. We won. Um, the 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 spurt, you know, twenty four points in three and a half minutes, mm -hmm. basically. Uh, you know, what was working for y'all in that? In I think our tempo. Um, early in the second quarter, our tempo wasn't as good and. You know, we talked about I said you know our tempo our bye week you know it was it was, it was crazy our, our practices were up tempo and you know the whole week our practices were up tempo too so uh, you know they, they our, their defense really couldn't didn't do well on our tempo they didn't get lined up and um you know, the first quarter we had a good tempo and the last of the second quarter we had really good tempo and I, I feel like that we hit them on some big plays with our tempo It was a good win. It's a good win for our seniors to go out like that. And, you know, what? we still got one more. You know, it was our last one in the vet, but, you know, we still got, you know, our minds on, you know, next week. So, you know, we're going to put this away and, you know, come back ready to work against Ark State next week. I did not I did not see him. I have a lot of family members in town I'm thankful for, but um, I did not I did not see him cry. <laughs> I wish I did, but I did not. He did not cry. <laughs> Caleb Barker, what did he show, perhaps giving some hands for next year? Yeah, he can run. He can run, and uh, he had a good uh, tag on that post play through to uh, Richard Hallman. So uh, he, he's really good, a dual threat quarterback. The uh, guys like Emmanuel and John, you know, what what does it mean to have them, you know, seniors step up and, and have some, some good catches? Well, they've, I mean, they've been doing that for me for a few years now. So um, you know, they they've always been there for me, uh, on and off the field as my ad. So you know, just them stepping up, Emmanuel getting us going. On that second play, and John just you know doing what he does best is catching and getting upfield. So, you know those two they've been by me my whole whole career. So, and I'm, I'm I've been loving playing for them. Uh, I think just a full one. I think a full one's good enough. I don't want any more than that. I wasn't really planning on that actually, but it was fun. I'm glad I got in. You didn't stick the 
Yeah, no, no way. I couldn't. I, I do flip pretty well, but I, I couldn't, I couldn't stick that one. Um, it felt good, and and to to go to a guy like Rich is is real good because I know for us guys that don't get as much playing time, but we practice our tails off. You know, it's kind of it can be down. You can get down on yourself sometimes, but I think uh, that really helped out Rich. I, it was good to see a huge smile on his face after I connected with him. So. <clears throat> Um, well, like Coach Brown said, you know, when, when we all went in, um, he wanted to just keep doing what we were doing, at least for the, for the third quarter, and that's what we did. And then, you know, he always says next man up. So, um, you know, he, he really believes in there, no, there should be no drop off in the ones and the twos. And I think we we did what he wanted us to do, so. <clears throat> Uh, what for me? Um, I don't know. I mean, it was good to get out there and you know get a get a better feel for it. You know, not just have one drive, but have multiple. You know, and get a feel for the game and everybody in it. <clears throat> you mentioned some of the other guys, the receivers that don't get a lot of playing time. How good is it to get a little feel, a little connection with them in a game instead of just the practice? Oh, that means the world. I mean, it's completely different. The game speed, as far as practice, a game, it's completely different. And you know, to to hook up like that in the game, it really felt good, and I'm sure it was good for him, too.